A lot of you already know I've been doing digital art for a long time, ever since I was a 12-year-old with an old Wacom tablet and a dream. Obviously, I've improved a ton during this time, but exactly how bad were these drawings from back then? Let's find out today! I found this really old speed paint video from my old YouTube channel, so let's roast the heck out of it! Jokes aside, beginner artists aren't to be made fun of, they are to be encouraged. Back then, I'm sure I'd have improved a lot faster at drawing if there were even half the resources there are nowadays, particularly from platforms like Skillshare. You can learn almost anything on Skillshare's massive community, but what really caught my eye recently was their Learning Paths feature. Learning Paths are curated sequential class collections so that you can go from beginner to master in a specific topic. And I mean any topic, from photography, graphic design, music, cooking, even productivity, Skillshare has it all. I've been wanting to draw more, even when I'm not home. While I do have an iPad with Procreate in it, I don't really use it much because I don't have that much experience with it. Well, imagine my joy when I saw Skillshare has three different learning paths just on Procreate. The one I'm most interested in is called Master Procreate Professional Techniques. It has four separate, especially curated classes to help me explore new possibilities with the program from pattern making to animation. The first 500 people to use my link will receive a one month free trial of Skillshare. So what are you waiting for? Thank you so much Skillshare for sponsoring this video. You won't regret it. So this was made with Paint Tool Sci version one, but let's see, let's watch, let's watch. Oh, straight to line art. Let's go, just straight up goes to line art. Doesn't even lower the opacity of the sketch. Who cares about that, you know? Who cares? Just go. I was doing this technique where like, since the skin was probably going to be really light and the background is white, it would be hard to see. So what I do here is I use a different color and uh, then I'm probably gonna change the color, I hope. Yeah, how do he was- Oh, the hue and saturation? That's insane. I didn't even pick the colors, okay? I just did a weird orange and then I, I, I eyeballed it on hue and saturation. Are we gonna- What's gonna- Oh, is this the shading? I can barely see it. Because of all, like, the black lines on the hair, it barely does anything. Uh, what is that? Is that the shading on the boobs? Dude, no. It's not hollow. <laughs> ah, it's over! No! the end card too thanks for watching wow. i hope you liked it i want to watch this again because i want to break it down <laughs> it, this is really funny because this is something i still do today you start with the circle and then you don't use the circle for absolutely nothing and this is such a how to draw manga like those bad books like yeah the hands behind the back is is, is a moment for the love of God, if you are a beginner artist, if your program has layers, it probably has something called opacity. So if it has opacity, please lower the opacity of your sketch layer when you do line art. Because this is hard to see. It hurts your eyes. Uh, you know who this character reminds me of, actually? It's like Cursed Amulet Clover. I didn't know about Shu Okada back then. Oh, the line, oh, the line, like the, the hairy lines here. When you're doing line art, do your lines like this. Don't do them like this. If you do your lines like this, they're gonna look awful. You're not gonna build any confidence in your strokes. Like, when people ask, oh, do you have any tips on how to improve and stuff? Honestly, just do this. Huh? Literally, like, this is a, a very boring exercise, but it's so important. Instead of doing the stuff in, like, one stroke, I would do like this. <laughs> this, I think, is smart. The thing about using... Oh, these lines are killing me. These lines are killing me. The... This is insane to me. Like, it didn't look that bad until I added the, the lines. It's because I didn't know how to draw hair and I didn't know how to make it look good. And I, w I clearly was not a patient kid back then. Th this, this looks terrible, but like, this is how I dressed as a kid. I just wore like a t-shirt or a top in a color and jeans. So that's what, th that's the characters I drew. <laughs> there was no fantasy there. Like the shading was just done wherever it went, you know? There was no like notion of volumes or no notion of like where the shadows are supposed to be or like why even the shadows are there, right? Th th this, th this totally tells me that I was not thinking about what I was doing. Oh, dude, this is, this is, it's painful, but like at the same time, it makes me so proud, right? Because I, I came so far and I am so glad that I recorded these time lapses and uploaded them because I, I won't lose them that way, right? 
And it makes me really sad when people like throw away their old art because they're, you know, embarrassed of it. Because like these are so precious, you know, looking back at these memories and... I don't remember drawing this, but looking at this, maybe I, I, I remember what I was thinking at the time, you know? <laughs> I couldn't even go get like a pattern from the internet, I just did it manually. <laughs> I want to show you the redraw of this drawing. I redrew this uh, at the end of last year. And yeah, so I tried to keep the same vibe, I guess. I tried to... Yeah, do you guys like it? So I was thinking that we could go through it, talk about what I'm doing, what I'm thinking, because I think that will be good to analyze. So yeah, already a huge difference compared to the previous one. So on the previous one, I did one sketch that I consider it done and immediately start jump to line art. Now I start with a very loose sketch. I try to keep give her the same hairstyle, all that stuff. And then I do the second sketch. Uh, I didn't just want to hide the hands behind the back because like when I was younger and I did like hands behind the back, it was because I couldn't draw hands, right? And I, I wanted to hide them. So what I did now was like put the hands behind the back, but kind of like one of the hands showing so that I'm hiding the hands not because I can't draw them, but simply because it's the pose I decided. I think that already makes a big difference, right? I try to keep the same like same vibe and the same hairstyle. And I was having a lot of trouble with the clothes. I, I was never like really good at designing outfits. I feel like I'm not a very fashionable person. So this was the sketch. So see? Look, this was half of the half of the video is me sketching. So I think this already tells like a huge difference, right? First character, I just did like a shabby sketch and immediately went right to line art. Like it's 24 seconds of the six minute video. While this new video, basically half of the video is me doing sketches. Uh, my brother-in-law got me this book and uh, it's by this illustrator I really like called Tanaka. And like this, this book has like a lot of really cool outfits and a lot of really cool like stuff. I think that's a big improvement from like child Mari because it was like, you know, I'm not good at making up outfits or anything, so I'm just gonna like look them up. Uh, and yeah, so let's go to liner. We know the rule, yay! Thick lines on the outside, thin lines on the inside, haha. <laughs> I think my line art is probably my strongest suit right now. Like, and as you can see, one single stroke chat to do stuff instead of like going and unconfidently go like, like if I'm trying to draw like an anime face and I do it like this. Then, at the end of the day, you won't even know like which line is the, li is the right one. Like, which line should you follow? Should you follow this one? Should you follow this one? Should you follow this one? Like, it's, it, it's completely... it's really hard to see. Like, any of these are lines that you did. Alright, base colors, I immediately jump into shading. I like doing that. And this time around, even though there's no, like, there's no light source, it's just like a generic lighting, there's a huge, much bigger idea of, like, how volumes work, how shapes work. These things actually look spherical, right? Unlike these ones. You can also see there's some volume on her body. And I'm really proud of how I did that with salt shading only. And that's it! Uh, th this is a really good uh, way to see like how things changed, right? And how my methods for doing stuff changed. Do you guys have any questions for me? Thank you so much for watching the video! If you enjoyed it, make sure you like and subscribe and share it with your friends who like art! Just by doing that, you're doing so much more for me than you can imagine. Stay safe, y'all! Bye-bye!